Let me tell you a story. For years I've been forcing things. Trying to fit a bingo checklist made by others for what success looks like. I looked around and I didn't like the results of the people around me and that hasn't changed so far about me. This was the catalyst. I sought to look at alternatives. Lots and lots of smart people online. You could go watch some cheap refurbished Netflix shit or listen to Peter Thiel talk. Matter of choice. And so I did. I chose the latter. Only reason being the former brought me pain. I couldn't stand playing some game or watching some movie when it was clear that I had to move and those are just empty ways of killing time. The ambitious people have valuable information. Lots of valuable information. But only for the ones that truly desire what they desire. There's a single definition of success. Look at yourself in a mirror in the evening and wonder if you disappoint the person you were at 18. I didn't know what I wanted, so I followed what other people said it's good to want. Five habits of the most productive people. 7.3 morning routines of the world's billionaires. 12 rules for cocaine addicts. How to shit diagonally like Elon Musk. Why are you doing those things? They're not getting you where you want. And you know it. And if that rings true, it is because it is in fact true. So I stopped. I stopped because I saw they lead nowhere. And this is an understanding words cannot describe. Some will shame the successful. The successful will be trapped by guilt. There's nothing wrong in a productive workaholic sleeping six hours a night making millions per year. If that's what they are truly obsessed with. To a so-called normal person, it is inimaginable how a workaholic can enjoy working so much. That's because their play looks alien to the play of others. But both the normal Joe and the successful have one equal flaw. Most haven't realized that there is nothing to do other than play. And the ones that did are now walking on water. There is no so-called serious matter in the world that isn't invalidated by death. There is death at the end of every success or demise. Death is not the issue. The issue is the question. Have you wasted your life chained to chasing ghosts? Did you really want that? You've heard the words before. Let go. Flow with the river and all that. Be like water, friend. But those are just words and words are sand slipping between your fingers. Words cannot contain the understanding that leads you to living such a freeing description of life. They are mere breadcrumbs. Unless they are in the bloodstream, they are cheap platitudes you print on a pillow to sleep on. You don't really look at what's written on your live laugh love pillow, do you? You just place your head on it every day on repeat for the words to never register inside your mind ever again. I was sick of platitudes, and that sickness eventually got me to live life as a free bird. I don't force. I only go with my immediate obsessions. Obsession is the only compass. It's the act of letting go so that the underlying forces of reality can push you in the right direction. And life is marvelous ever since. My days are uninteresting. I now might browse Twitter all day, eat steak, drink coffee while basking in the sun. That is a great day. I then might push myself in the gym to get that sick cunt physique, to then return home and get curious about learning the makings of music and feel exactly the same. Some days are just wasted by the eye of an outside observer. Some days there's 22 hours of work on a commercial film set to then enjoy the exhausted night ride back home. Some days I'm just bored and I choose to jump out of a plane instead. If something sparks my eye, I better get it done immediately. As for the times I wait, the fire disappears. I listen to music, get an idea, I write. 
This full script written on a green tea field sunny afternoon. It comes. It comes if you listen. A note to some of my favorite and most misunderstood words ever written, forged into being by one whom I thought to be the ultimate loser, only to realize he's a rare winner. Badass in crystal form, engraved in Charles Bukowski's tombstone. Don't try. Few know what he meant. And fewer people live the understanding. The ones that have it in their bloodstream have left the chase. And they've let life chase them. It comes. It whispers. It never shouts. Listen. I slept like complete and utter fucking shit thinking that I'm gonna be eaten by a motherfucking bear.